Draco Slayers are officially legal in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So I am going to show you guys duels with how to play Draco Slayers properly, how to beat your opponent. And I've decided for the second time in a row to steal Sam's office. <laughs> It's mine now, Sam. Let's get straight into this video. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of duels with Draco Slayer, how to win, how to destroy your opponent, what do versus hand traps, what do versus interruptions. Let's go. Before we get into it, look at this beautiful play mat. Oh my God. Luster Pendulum, Dynamite Ignis, destroying. Look at the gigantic sprite loser. Destroying a bunch of meta cards in the play mat. It is beautiful. This is one of my favorite play mats of all time. I actually played this in my three on three case tournament that I won. Get yours right now on TripGaming.com. They're beyond the pendulum play mats. Shout out to Team Sam for me stealing his office. Shout out myself for this combo. And time for you guys to see some duels in action. Let's go. This, this one's one of my favorite replays. Holy, it's going to blow your guys' mind. It's actually extraordinary. I get ashed in this one. Just to show you how to play around hand traps. And it was a great ash. It was at the exact opportune time he needs to. My hand's good. It's not crazy. Like, if you see, I don't have uh, Lubelion. I don't have Magnemont. Like, I don't have that play where I could go. Like, I have a Abyss Deal and I have a way to Auto's Revolution. But it's not, like, the best way. Like, Baldrake doesn't have much value. Magnemont gets a plus at the end phase. Lubelion literally gets me a free Branded Beast and the combo. And he has an Ash Blossom here. So it's good that he doesn't Ash Joker. He opts to Ash the Revolution, as he should. He Ash the Revolution. Now I'm a little bit stuck here. How should I play this? What you should do is always keep in mind this. If you're Ignis and Luster, if you go... Let's say you started this turn with Luster Ignis and he Ashes. You're fucked. Because now your scales are locked to 5 and 7. You don't want that. There's sometimes you have to outplay your opponent by starting with Dynamite and then later on Luster Ignis. Because he wasted the Ash, I can now freely Luster Ignis. So what this is going to set up now is... This is what all the deck is. It's a bunch of slot times where, what are you gonna interrupt? Like pick your poison. Whatever you interrupt, you're cooked. So the Ash is a great time at Revolution Dragon. I'm gonna trigger my Ignis. With Lo this White Luster is one of the best cards in this deck. I'm gonna trigger the effect of Maiden to search Sky Iris. I'm gonna do a cool play here. I have to discard Ignis. Remember that I'm discarding Ignis. I don't need the Ignis anymore. But this now means, you guys catch this. The Majesty Pegasus add, try and discard a Draco Slayer. At any point in my turn now, I could summon Dinosaur Power and special this from the graveyard. This is important. So at any moment I want, I could do that. This is important as I go on, you see. And I have Sky Iris. So what do I do now? I don't go into Electrum. I don't go into Beyond the Pendulum. No, I do. I go into cards. I want him to bait. So let's say he Imperms Revealers, the Ignister. He loses on the spot. There's nothing he can do. I'm summoning until I see five summons or like if something comes up at five for Nibiru. He still loses because I'm going to summon a like if he Nibiru's at that time, I still have full combo. And if he doesn't Nibiru by then, I see he doesn't have Nibiru. So I go Ignister. Ignister fact a special uh, this one. This is vital because I'm about to go Dynister. I go Sky Iris. Now look at this play. I'm going to go Sky Iris. I'm going to pop my own Ignister. Okay. I'm going to pop my own Ignister because now I'm going to search another Revolution Dragon. Revolution Dragon is not once per turn. I could freely add CED if I want to. I could do that same play where I just said I could go Revolution Dragon. I could go right now as we speak. Revolution Dragon, search CED. Ball Drake, banish Revolution Dragon. CED, add back Revolution Dragon. Summon CED. Revolution Dragon, search lust, search whatever I want. What I opt to do though, is to do this effect. Add CED, look at this. Dinosaur, I save this CED for now. I use Dynamite to special Luster. And then I'm going to use Luster and Dyna Dynamite into Electromite. At any given moment, you can hand trap me, he's cooked. I use Electromite to pop Iris and search Revolution Dragon because now I'll get a free... I did all that play, I get a free plus one. Electromite will be like, draw me a free card on top of all of that. So now I go Revolution Dragon effect, the special that same Ignister. I keep the CED because I'm going to loop the shit out of it. And I get a free draw one from Electromite. And now guess what? Just like CED, just like Revolution Dragon, Ignister is not once per turn either. I'm going to not use Ignister effect. Keep in mind, we got ashed. We literally got ashed. We're going to use Ignister Effect to bring out the Dragon. Remember, I said in the... If you guys want to see the deck list of this, I posted a video explaining full depth, in depth, how to play this deck. So go check that out. This is in depth, like top of the like top of the line stuff. No player in the world has as knowledge of Draco Slayers that I do. So now we have the only other Dragon in the deck where this is going to do something crazy. We use Ignister twice already, right? 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 Let's make it three times. Let's use Ignister three times. We already looped it twice. Let's use it three times now. So we're going to go Pisty and Triple Burst. This is how you play Draco Slayer. This is how you play Draco Slayer. Now imagine you're also going second. Ignister, pop shuffle, pop shuffle, pop shuffle. You're fucked. What a deck this is. Pisty effect. Bring out Ignister a third time. Next, we're going to go to Seal. Dude, we didn't even pen. We did not pen summon yet. We didn't even pen summon. We got ashed. We didn't even pen summon. This is the board all you losers put up. 
Just kidding. None of my viewers are losers. I love you guys. You guys are all winners. Let's go. Unless you play Kashtira, then you suck. All right, next. Bistia Lubelion. We didn't even use that yet. We got Bistia Magnemut. Look at this. Magnemut. Dude, this is how you are. This is how we should start our turn. Dude, we didn't even fucking start yet. This is at the end of our turn. We pen for two. Next, Ignister Special Ignis. CED, Odd Revolution Dragon. I got to loop the shit out of that again. Next, Magnemut. Bring out Lubelion. Lubelion, bring out Branded Beast. Next, I go Dynaster. Trigger the effect of that. Effect. Add. Majesty Pegasus. Next, remember. Remember I said discard any Draco Slayer? Now, later in the turn, I got this free summon. Next, with those two, I'm going to go into Ignister. I'm going to use Ignister another time. Guess what? Guess what? I didn't use Majesty Pegasus scale effect yet. If I scale Majesty Pegasus right now, I could add another Draco Slayer. I went through every Draco Slayer in my deck. That's how good this is. There's no Dynamite. Dynamite's a three. Ign Ignis is a three. Magic Spikes is a three. I play two Draco Slayer Dragons. That's 11. I have 11 Draco Slayers in my deck. I went through every single one of them in my turn. That's how you play this deck. By looping the shit out of Ignisters. I use Ignister effect four fucking times. I could have used it five times. I could use Revolution Dragon to special Ignister again. But I'm like, you know what? There's no point. Let's save it for a follow-up. Why? Like, I'm going to put an unbreakable board here. Hope Harbinger. Seal. I'm going to summon CED as well, because I would like Lubelion to stay on the field. Like, remember that CED? Just for free. Why not? I'm going to... Talents, he used Dash. I'm going to look into his hand. Let's see your hand. <laughs> you lose. You have three dragons in your hand that do nothing. End phase. Magnemite effect. Look at my hand. I have two Beast Deals in my hand. I have Branded Beast. Baldrick will trigger its effect. Druidwim will f sure as fuck trigger its effect. Like, I have Seal. I have Hope Harbinger. I have the Monster Negate. That's eight. And did I say Branded Beast? And whatever seal brings out that's eight yeah eight interruptions seal will bring out whatever i feel like for a follow-up it's eight interruptions he has four cards he has four cards he ashed and i talents looked at his hand his four cards deal with eight interruptions insane follow-up as well revolution pegasus i could have put up a mascarena and have a ninth interruption but i'd prefer the extra deck be cards for going second so now if you look at the extra deck going second baron you're cooked magister paladin uh, just a draco slayer great this is important for sometimes Beyond the Pendulum is still in the extra deck. So now, when you're going second, you can go straight up to Beyond Selene Access Code instantly. If you want to apply a little pressure, you get Apollosa. Apollosa, then go for game in case he has some way to like protect. Like the extra deck's all going second cards now. Ridiculous. This deck's absolutely insane. Let's see how he plays this out. Let's see what he does here. Let's see if he has a semblance of a chance. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this. I already see what he's doing. He, he draws Abyss Deal. Great. Tracer, he tries to go Baron. I don't allow that shit to happen. Brian and Beast, Druid Worm, pop the both. If he chains Tracer and negate, destroy everything later. Nice deck. He has two normal summon this, uh, rockets in hand. Can't do shit. Flip everything in attack position. Destroy. What a duel, bro. This deck's insane. This deck's ridiculous. You can even play two seal. This is almost a dragon deck. Uh, I've toyed with playing two seal as the best follow up. Uh, I'm going to show you guys another replay now. There's absolute destruction. I'll show you another replay now. All right, let's check this replay out. This is going to be a fun one. <laughs> They're all fun. <laughs> for me. Not for my opponent. <laughs> and it'll be fun for you if you play this card for card. Uh, let's see the next one. Uh, so my hand is Ash, Joker, Pegasus, Revolution, Prosperity. Very nice. I want to show you this one because I make a slight error. I Prosperity for six. I did not need to Prosperity for six. My hand is great. I have Revolution, Dragon, Joker, Pegasus. I don't need a Bestial. But I basically banished six to dig. I lost Electromite. I don't know why I got rid of Electrum. I should have keep it. And I don't. I didn't. I got rid of both my rank eights. I saved access code in Selene, thinking I will put up a big board. And the next turn I Selene access code, I should have probably got rid of these two. But anytime your hand is this good, only pause for three, because I in like I lose out on these negates. I lose out on Electromite. So this is vital that I'm losing these. So prosperity for three if your hand's good. You could six if you need to, but don't get rid of this. Is a bad choice. Always keep one rank eight. And decide Electromite or Beyond. I did all this for Sornier. It wasn't worth it. Crush Sornier. Uh, get rid of that. I'm going to do the same play. CED with the Bestial. See that? That's how you begin the play as well. So now I just got a free CED for nothing. And I got Revolution Dragon. Great. All right. Effect. It's vital. Another card you could play is Starry Venom Dragon. The card's crazy with Revolution in the graveyard. So I might be playing that as well. Because it's just crazy with uh, Revolution Dragon. Here, we get a free add. Always go for dynamite in this scenario. Make sure to always have scales low, high, in hand. So no matter what, if your opponent nib imperm, if your opponent negates your cards, Fenrir is what you need. Fenrir is your scale, whatever. Make sure, no matter what, you have low scale and high scale in hand. That's vital. Uh, so now, I have low scale, high scale in hand. I'm going to go dynamite, special luster. 
I'm gonna instantly go into Ignister. I'm gonna go into Ignister, the special Majesty Pegasus, the Search Sky Iris. Discard the Majesty Pegasus. The reason why I discard the Majesty Pegasus, uh, there's always a Draco Slayer in my graveyard. I could Dynaster, pow Power Load, whatever, special it at any time. And I said, always have a low scale. Revolution and Sky Iris both search low scales. So anytime I want, I could go six and three, and I have a low scale and high scale. I'm gonna go Sky Iris, pop the uh, Ignister, search another Revolution Dragon. Revolution Dragon, special Ignister, use Ignister again. Look, I'm gonna go fast forward the rest of this. Ignister, special Dynaster, get Dino my power load. Search Pegasus as I can, and special Pegasus, or Majesty Pegasus. Go into Seal, right away off the bat, Soaring Year Effect, go into that. Go CED, get a free plus. I, didn't, I did not pen summon yet, by the way. Revolution Dragon effect, special Ignister. Use Ignister effect for a fourth time. Ignister special Ignis. At this point, I look at my extra deck. Because I have prosperity for six, I have no rank eight. You see that? That was the misplay. Where you guys I didn't even pen summon. I did not pen summon. And I have a full fucking board. I didn't even pen summon at all. I didn't even piss the or triple burst. So that was a fucking massive error. Learn from that error. Don't prosperity for six when your hand's literally broken as it is. I just passed here. I have no other interruptions. I banished all my interruptions. So what this would have been if I didn't banish all my interruptions, like it would be the full board. I would have uh, some combination of Apollosa, double rank eight. Let's say I banished for three. If I did it for three, I would have banished Apollosa for sure. I don't really need it. One Ignister, one Magister Paladin. No, I would banish one rank eight. I'd banish the Galaxy Eyes, I'd banish Apollosa, and I'd banish uh, Magister Paladin. So I would end this board with Electromite. I would get free value. I could have got a free Apollosa as well. I for sure as fuck have another whole Harbinger. It's fine. Uh, I want to show as well that all this was done without Pendulum Summoning. You don't need to Pendulum Summon in this deck. It's a Pendulum deck that does not need to Pendulum Summon. This is all Extenders. So this is how you play through Interruptions. You save your Pendulum Summon for the very end. And whenever your opponent actually scares you, just scale, scale, Pend. Like we didn't even utilize a Pen Summon. Imagine we went Selene, Pen 3. This summon three times for free, four times from hand. So there's no reason to. This is also typically gonna be enough. Like you have Seal, Brian and Beast and Ash. It's playing a shit deck, so that's just fucking game on the spot. And yeah, just easy. This is just game. It's like playing with myself, which is sound sounds weird. Don't play with yourself. Play with others. And like Yu-Gi-Oh! Play play Yu-Gi-Oh! with others. So Brandon, I'm just gonna click cards. I literally let him pop my card. You get a chain Majesty Pegasus to save my Ignister. I didn't really care. Keep in mind, Majesty Pegasus has a hand effect. Be careful in Master Duel. You don't want to accidentally use it uh, attempt to scale. Uh, Master, uh, Master Pegasus, but uses hand effect by accident and discarding it. But it has a mini mis miscellaneous source effect, protecting all your Draco Switch from being targeted or destroyed. But keep in mind that it was already targeted, it doesn't stop it from being targeted, but it does stop it from being destroyed. So if they use Dark Hole to, or if they use whatever, keep in mind as well, they can't friend rear it, they can't do anything to target it. You're playing uh, Teal Limits and they try to Solyak you, just Draco Slayer, before, uh, Majesty Pegasus beforehand, and then you are safe. From getting targeted or destroyed from Slug. Let's do one more replay. The majority of these replays are not to show you uh, how it is against duels against meta. That's gonna be for another video. This, I want you to see my combo lines. I want you to look into my brain and how massive it is and like kind of see the lines depending on the scenario. All the decks we face for fucking dog shit, like they end on nothing. Uh, like, look at this dude. It's like disgustingly shit, but the whole point of it is just so you guys could see uh, what happens with specific scenarios and how to play through that. I think he has Ash and Imperm here. So at least this shows how to play through Ash and Imperm. I don't know why the fuck even Draco back to Griffin, but whatever. So over here in Revolution Dragon, instantly he's gonna Ash Revolution Dragon. Uh, do you see how many times people Ash Revolution Dragon? Uh, you could get it back anytime you want. Look how freely you play through interruptions here. Uh, you he could have had five more interruptions. I don't think would have done much. Imperm Magnet. Like clearly he's like a new player. If he, he Imperm Magnet, but look like like what are you gonna imp in interrupt? Like it doesn't matter. You could Sky Iris anything you want. I could have branded Beast. Lubelion, get rid of another interruption and then the sky iris pop my brand and beast to keep going like the deck is so smooth and it goes so well you could negate one of my pots with a negate and i just use the other pot so this is just again theory for you guys the ced play is there's nothing you could do at this point right here i could special ced and get rid of brand and beast and sky iris to clear two more interruptions i can enter battle phase clear another interruption this clears through three four interruptions i didn't even start playing yet I use one pot, it clears another interruption. Like this literally clears four or five interruptions. I didn't even pen somebody and actually start playing. And you save the, the pot it desires for last. Ignis, Luster, that's game. Like, that's just the gist of it. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know. 
And he obviously scoops. This is full combo. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This mainly shows combo lines where depending on what your hand is, we played through Ash Emperor and we played through Ash full combo all the time. It, we had the one scenario where it's like kind of like a weird hand where we prosperity our whole thing. Don't prosperity for six if your hand's literally broken. We summoned 20 times without pen summoning. Just you could not see what's possible with this deck. If you guys want to see more, I want you to let me know in the comments. I would love to do a video where it's just Draco Slayer versus Kristira. I will duel any Kristira player, show how easy it is to clap that deck up. The deck's literally dog shit, lose it to itself half the time. And that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.